Ms. Rennes? I sponsored by Amanda Flugrad will go first. Hi, Ennis. Uh, Hi. When we spoke at Media Day, you were saying just how excited you are to get back with this group. How has day two been for you? It's amazing. You know, um, I think we have a, like a really good, fun and hardworking group of guys. And every time we're out there, we are learning. We're playing hard. We're playing smart. And um, we are helping each other and we are having fun. Um, it's a very interesting group of guys and everybody out there uh, just loves to compete and loves to trash talk and loves to go at it, each other. So it's it's been fun so far. Abby? How is it different from your last stint and, and with Ime as the head coach now? And I mean, the, the, that's obviously, that's my uh, second time, you know, just literally uh, working with him. But he's the type of coach that tells you uh, what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And he always keeps it 100% real. And, um, and uh, he gives a lot of freedom to his uh players so I think uh, you know just like uh, so far it's been it's been great John Corrales hey, you've run with Marcus Smart as, as your point guard uh -huh. but now that now that you see him kind of working there as the primary point guard do you see any differences any any kind of changes in his attitude growth or anything like that as he's settling into now the primary point guard of course man I mean he was always he was already bringing a lot of uh, leadership but he's now he's in our next level he's communicating he's telling guys where where to go what to do and he's bringing so much heart uh, as always you know now he's uh, going out there and just he just i mean he's the he's our leader now and i think the, with, with his lead i think this the team when to get to a next level you know because when you see a veteran leader going out there and giving 100 percent he cannot take any night off so and i like him you know, just being this leader because all these young guys, all these young point guards out there, you know, just we have just looking up to him and idolizing him. And, you know, he's a good uh, role model. So I'm, uh, I'm happy that he's uh, in this position right now. Mark Murphy. And it's what, what kind of growth have you seen in Rob? You know, you, you saw him before he had what was considered to be a pretty big jump in his game last year. You know, what, who's the guy you see now? Uh, pacing. He's he's been playing unbelievable, man. I mean, just um, we're just going out, but he just we were playing a scrimmage game, and he just given everything he has, and he's just competing, and he's leading, and he's going out there and giving all his heart. So I think one guy that just made me, you know, like shot. I, I never got. I, I I never played with him before, so it was, this is like the first time I'm playing with him. But he's he's gonna be a big problem for other teams. Um, I'm happy that he's on our side. We'll have a couple of Zoom questions, if we could, here, Ennis, from Bobby Manning, number one. Hey, Ennis, so when you first came in here a couple of years ago, it was kind of after a tumultuous season for this group, and, you know, you were able to, and some other guys were able to institute some good vibes. You had, like, a, you know, pretty successful season that year. Just in terms of bouncing back, it was a tough ending for this team last year, too. What kind of things did you do last time that you think kind of lightened up the room, helped it make, uh, you know, a more, like, uh, you know, just positive place? Uh, you know, I wasn't here last year, so I can't speak about last year, about, about two years ago. I think the most important thing was, I mean, we already know the talent is there. You know, we already know that we're all basketball players. We're going to go out there and play basketball. But I think for us to get to the next level, there's team chemistry. You know, I, I think two years ago, that was the one thing that I was always trying to make sure that we always have, you know, like chemistry. We always have, you know, good vibes. We always have the positive energy. You know, we know that we're not going to win 82 in a row, you know, but I think... For us to get to the next level is when the things start to go wrong, you know, who's going to be the leader going to step up and say, okay, you know what, let's go. Let's bring it in. Uh, let's stay together. Let's, the person is going to bring the positive energy is really, really important in the locker room. So I think my job is my 11th in the league now. And so for me, um, the one thing I'm going to try to do is just make sure that everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, everybody's good in the locker room. Because, I mean, sometimes we might not get the result we want. But the important thing is, once we get in the locker room, if you're going to stay together or not. So that's my uh, job going, to, going into season. All right, Murphy? I just wanted to clarify. I had asked you about Rob. Uh-huh. Okay. You what? I had asked you about Rob Williams. Yes. What okay. about him? Not what? I can't hear you from the mask. 
I had asked you about Rob Williams, not Peyton. Oh, I thought you said, okay, hey, my, my fault. But I think, you know, one thing about Rob, he just, he's lear he just learned learning the game. You know, he was already athletic. He was already going out there and just blocking everything and defensive stuff. But now he's adding to his game. You know, now he's, he got the, like I said, in a uh, media day, you know, he was just got that little jump shot going. He can pass now. And I think, you know, one, last year, whenever I, we play against him, he was the first, first guy that like shocked me the most. Cause like, I was like, how did he change his game so much in like one year? You know, he was a big uh, problem against us when, when we play against uh, the Celtics. But now he's even learning more now. You know, he's talking, he's uh, leading, and he's communicating and trusting on uh, others. And, uh, and all the, you know, those uh, small guys that trust, trust in him uh, inside, you know, because they know that if, he, if they get beat, there's, you know, there's going to be uh, someone, Rob, they're going to be blocking a shot. So I think he's, he's learning. That's the most important thing. Abby? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, have you stayed in touch with Taco? And how is he doing? And he has a new commercial out for Arbella Insurance. I did not see that commercial <laughs> yet, but uh, I actually talked to him the day he signed with the Cavs. Um, I mean, like every Celtics fan out there, I was heartbroken. And, you know, when I signed with Celtics, the number one thing I was like, wow, you know, me and Taco will be going against each other the whole season again. And um, he was like my big, big brother. You know, but um, I mean, I'm happy for him uh, because, you know, he's going to get to uh, play. He's going to experience, um, you know, a lot of uh, playing time, I hope. And he's going to go out there. And I, I know that he belongs in this league. I, that's what I told him when he called me. He's like, listen, man, just don't focus on what you need to focus on. Just go out there and show the whole world that you belong in this league. You know, um, I'm just happy that, I, you know, he's going to, I hope that he's going to get to finally play and get some uh, buckets and stops. Wrap it up right there. Thank you, Ennis. Thank you. Uh,